My work here involves a lot of bee identification for the biodiversity project. The bee collections are actually a huge resource for any kind of biodiversity work because we have specimens in the collection dating back to the late 1800s. And by looking at these historical records in conjunction with the current surveys we're doing, we can get a good idea of what bees were around in what time frames and how they've changed and where they've moved to. In the collection here, we have about 7,000 historical specimens of wild bees spanning all six different families of bee. And then in addition, we have another 10,000 about new specimens from the last three years. The work using the collections and our survey material helps with the bee crisis by figuring out what bees we need to be looking at. Most people know about the honeybee and bumblebees, but there are actually more than 4,000 species of wild bee here in North America. Uh, about 500 just in the Northeast and New England area. First we have to figure out what used to be here using the historical collections here, figure out what's currently here using our new survey material, and combine that information to get a good overview of what bees are typically here, how they've changed, and do this for all the bees. I do macro photography with the new recorded species of bees in New Hampshire. The photos tie in with the collections to have a digital record and for publications. I take a photograph of the bee, I set it for 30 snaps, and once all 30 are taken, I stack the photos. I stack the shots because the camera zooms in every shot a certain amount of millimeters, so it's focused on a different part of the bee every time. So when I stack them, it becomes one. What fascinates me about the collection, there are bees that are way older than me in there, and just the different types of bees and different sizes and colors is pretty amazing. The historical collections provide us a wonderful framework for our current research. It gives us a reference point to compare what used to be and then what is now.